When you're first beginning on the HF side of the amateur radio hobby, you'll start to notice the term antenna impedance matching. With this concept being so important to a successful experience in radio, we decided to make it easier. Hi, I'm Sebastian, KB0TTL with Bridgecom Systems. Today we're going to share a brief introduction to what impedance matching is. Learning all of this information can be daunting, but if you follow along with us and watch till the end, you'll have a much richer understanding of how this process works. So what is impedance matching? Impedance matching is simply the way in which you set your antenna's impedance to correspond with your RF circuit's output impedance. Most of the time, you'll want to set this to 50 ohms. If the impedance of the antenna's feed line and the antenna impedance do not match, your source will have complex impedance. Even if you set your antenna to the 50 ohm specification, you will still need to take into account the length of your feed line especially if it's greater than one-tenth of the wavelength of the frequency that you're using. It's crucial your antenna impedance matches on the final board because minor alterations can occur due to the electricity or even nearby products. So why is this all so important? The reason behind us emphasizing strong understanding of antenna impedance matching is for many reasons, but it's mostly because we want you to get the most out of your antenna. Your antenna has to be impedance matched during operation and assembly so that it operates within your desired frequency band and with maximum efficiency. If everything runs with total efficiency, you'll enjoy the ability to maximize your range, lower your power consumption, and reduce heating. To make sure your antenna is getting maximum power from the RF circuitry, you need to match the input impedance to 50 ohms. To measure this impedance input, you'll need to follow the standing wave ratio, or SWR. SWR defines how well your antenna impedance matches the transmit impedance. If the SWR is low and flat, then you'll have maximum power from the transmit line. Although this process is complicated and requires lots of time input, antenna matching is a must-have for any ham interested in HF. If you'd like to get started with a quality radio in HF, click the link below. Thank you again for watching in 73.